There are a few facilities around that have utilized it, but it's fairly new for beef. Bracken County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources, David Appleman, used to be a full-time dairy farmer, but he left the dairy business 25 years ago and applies his farming knowledge as an extension agent today. Kind of, kind of my favorite here. But when his adult children wanted to get into a beef cow calf operation, breeding for genetics and quality, that presented a problem. We did not have any facilities at all. Uh, we were just open pasture. And so we knew being employed off the farm, we had limited time. And so we wanted a facility that allowed for easy management and then we wanted to optimize animal performance and uh, animal comfort as well. Appleman visited the University of Kentucky's dairy farm where there was a compost bedded pack barn for cow comfort, which the dairy cows seemed to enjoy. Appleman got the idea the concept could work for beef cows. When it comes to animal rest, that's something we've forgotten about, we don't focus on, and we really have to keep in mind that if animals are in muddy conditions, they're gonna be standing for many more hours than normal. And uh, you take six, eight hours of additional standing just because it's muddy, I think that's where the real stress is coming on all these beef animals. 30 to 35 cows and their fall calves spend the winter months in this compost bedded pack barn. They stay out of the mud, are fed hay and grain in this feeding area where Appleman said they can control the amount of hay loss. The resting or loafing area is this bedding of sawdust where cows can lay free of mud and gets raked twice a day to keep the area fresh. Appleman said it is a safe way to manage his herd while making visual contact every day. We think about our farm population and we do uh, see our producers getting older um, and still working off the farm. So they're coming home at night uh, it's dark, it's muddy, they're taking the tractor out in the field, going through gates, and, you know, among animals that are pushing and shoving to get to the feed. And while the cows spend the winter months indoors, it gives Appleman's pastures a chance to recover and be ready for another grazing season when the cows and calves return to the pasture in the spring. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.